Life as God Has It by Prophets Hubert and B.B. Angel. Hello, good morning. It's Alonza, and welcome back for a reading of the Good News Daily. <laughs> I'm so happy to be out here this morning. It is a nice morning, 50 degrees, so a nice temperature to be out. Not too hot, not too cold. So I decided to come out and appreciate it very early this morning. <laughs> also, the song that you're hearing in the background is called Yane Sade. And it is, yes, it is Prophet Hubert Angel singing off his CD songs in the spirit how beautiful how beautiful how beautiful oh breeze is coming through today is a good day so oh my goodness the fun part <laughs> so let us dive in let us get right into the word today the name of our lesson is life as god has it how amazing is that life as god has it what is God's take on life, okay? We're going to see what the prophets say. I don't want to start guessing here, but life as God has it. Our text comes from St. John chapter 10 and verse 10. The thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. All right, all right. Life as God has it. It says, the prophets tell us, Christ came that you may have life and life in abundance. Now we know what abundance is. We know what life is. So abundant life, oh my goodness. That means life as God has it. So an abundant life or life in abundance is life as God has it. An abundant life. So wherever you're lacking in, it's God needs to be in that area of your life. The God kind of life, stress-free, disease-free, full of riches and peace that surpasses all understanding. <laughs> right, for such a time as right now. Disease-free? How amazing, wonderful is that? This is why the blessing that you receive when we accept Christ as our Lord and Savior maketh rich and adds no sorrow. Who of the uh, you, no sorrow? I'm just thinking of some things that I'm like, okay. That means the blessing of the Lord is the thing that will cause you to become rich. So if you're lacking, you wondering where your money is, and some people think their money is held up by some whatever. Well, guess what? Uh uh. That means the blessing of the Lord is the thing that will cause you to become rich. The blessing of no the Lord. sorrow. No, no sorrow. I'm so amazed right now. And the prophets say, I need to repeat that. <laughs> it causes you, makes you rich. The blessing of the Lord makes you rich. If I pushed you and you fell into a ditch, that means that it took no effort on your part, but I caused you to fall into a ditch. There was no effort on your part. All that was required was provided by a third party. So the prophets are just saying, just imagine right now, take that visual. Pushed into, it's like somebody pushed me, pushed me. They pushed me. So I was forced against my will, forced, pushed into a ditch as the prophets described it right here. Oh my goodness. So that means that's how the money is coming. That's how our riches, our blessing, our divine health, that, how, that is how it's all. One blessing. There's no S on blessing. It's just a blessing and it engulfs everything. Your health, your riches, your wealth, your prosperity, your lacking, no lacking in any area of your life. It says, you know, we have the mind of Christ and the prophets tell us you are a possessor of the blessing that make it rich right now. You, you are a possessor. You possess that blessing already. You are not looking for a blessing. You're not looking for the blessing of the Lord. It's in you. When you receive them, it came with him. It's a full package deal. It's like having a combo meal. You get your drink, your burger, and your fry. With salvation, when you get Jesus Christ, he's a combo meal. You get your prosperity, your health, your wealth. You get it all. 
You are already endowed with an anointing to prosper. As you go your way today, you will begin to experience the power of that blessing. Come on. He's just told us what we're going to encounter today. You will begin to experience the power of that blessing. Oh, come on. Feel it. Feel, I feel this thing this morning. Okay, so that brings us to our prophetic declaration. And it says, I'm going to say it aloud. You repeat it after me. We are agreeing and decreeing and declaring this over our lives right now. Right now. Prophetic declaration. I am a possessor of the blessing of the Lord. And I have been empowered to prosper in the name of Jesus. My goodness. I'm a possessor of the blessing of the Lord and empowered, you know, given power, like strength, power, like you from the Lord just to prosper in the name of Jesus. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I'm so excited. So that brings us right now to Romans chapter eight and verse 32. And that is our further study. So let us dive on into what our further study says. Romans chapter eight and verse 32. He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all. How shall he not with him also freely give us all things? So it says here in Romans 8, 32, God, God himself gave up his son, gave him up freely. Nobody asked him to. He gave him up freely, delivered him up for us all, delivered him, delivered him up for us all. How shall he not with him also freely give us all things? So if you believe that, G that God gave up his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ lives on the inside of us, then how will believe that he'll also give us freely these things, this blessing that encompasses everything? Okay? You believe it. I believe it. I know it. That settles it in Jesus' name. And at that, it brings us to the end. I am never out of words but I am out of time. So thanks guys for tuning in. And until next time, see you guys. Bye.